So let's uh, write the Net 10 APN settings on this Sky 6.0 phone and consider these APNs for uh, this brand of phone and T-Mobile. Okay, I have another settings, another video for uh, AT&T phones only that are activated on Net 10. Okay, so uh, find that video for Net for AT&T phones. And this one is for T-Mobile, Unlocked phones, and uh, Sky phones, and Blue also. Okay, so I want to use uh, the settings, so we want to open it. Settings, and then uh, go to More. Okay, and then next is, uh, we're going to open Mobile Networks. Okay, next step is Access Point Names. Okay, so I already have a couple um, APNs uh, on this phone. And if you already have some APNs on your phone, just you can edit any any one of these one, and delete the values and enter the new ones, or just go ahead and open a new one, hitting on the three dots right here on the right top corner of your screen and select new APN. Okay, so you wanna open and type name. Okay, and the name is gonna be Net10 N E T. -E -T -E one zero okay once you have that value just hit ok and then the next one is going to be APN so we're going to open APN and we are going to type WAP dot trackphone dot com T R A C F O N E dot C O M okay so it's going to be wap.dragphone.com and you're going to hit OK. OK, so uh, we're going, you're going to leave APN type, proxy port, username, password, server in blank. We are going to use MMSC. OK, we're going to type the following address HTTP column slash slash m m s dot trackphone dot com t r a c f o n e trackphone dot com okay so we have the address already there so when you finish just hit ok and we're gonna enter MMS port right here. It's gonna be eight zero eight zero. Okay, it's hit OK. All right, so we are done. We are finished with this. Um, every any everything else is remains the same. Okay, no values on it. And you see some values there. Just leave it. And you're gonna go to the right top corner of the screen and save it save now you're gonna see right here uh, net 10 right here is a net 10 drag phone so you're gonna have turn it on by just touching okay and the net 10 network should appear on the top which says 3g or 4g of your phone your phone okay so when you finish typing the values, just uh, reboot your phone, restart it, and, and you should be able to uh, use the internet. Some troubleshoots, if you're not able to use the internet or picture message, if the internet is the case, um, just come back here, uh, settings, more, uh, mobile networks and then access point names I'm sorry before that okay, right here before going to access point name just hit network operators and search manually okay just hit OK and your phone will start uh, search networks uh, around you uh, once the uh, net 10 appears on the screen just hit net 10 and you see a message on the bottom of the phone saying that your um, um register you are registered on network okay and to troubleshoot the um, picture message is 
if you're not able to send or receive picture messages just have somebody to send you one and if that doesn't activate then uh, take a picture and send it to your own phone number okay um, yes yeah, so it's just uh, in uh, destination just type your own phone number and that's the way to activate the uh, picture message also okay so once the phone is searching the networks uh, because I, I have a ultra mobile sim card on this phone so I it found out ultra mobile anything like that but you wanna see net 10 so you see net 10 3g or 4g just select it okay select the network you want and register on network at the bottom appears the message okay so sometimes you get a message saying that unable to register on network is because uh, sometimes uh, the, the phone is in blacklisted or the sim card slot is not working it doesn't detect the sim card that's why uh, you get that message but you can call the carrier in this case an uh, 10 or at t or t-mobile and give them the IMEA number, okay, and have them check the uh, IMEA for you. Uh, if it's not in the blacklisted, then that means that your SIM card slot is uh, damaged, so you need to replace that, okay. Um, and if it is blacklisted, then um, unfortunately you need to buy a new motherboard, or you can call and talk to the carrier and see what you can do to. Uh, remove your IMEA from the blacklist okay well thanks so much for choosing my video and you have any other questions uh, let me know thank you